Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. It's July, and I've always wanted to do a Christmas in July segment. We're going to do that today using little teeny Santa heads. Join us. The supplies you'll need for this project are you need a Santa head bead, you'll need some seed beads, red and green. You'll need a red bead for his belly and some other assorted beads. You'll need three inch jewelry pins for beading, a pair of scissors, a pair of pliers, and if you have one, it's very handy to have a curling plier. Let's get started. Once I decided what my design was, I made a set of earrings and I made a nice pendant for myself, but today I'm going to make a simple ornament. So here's what he looks like in the end, and let's make him starting with his legs. I'm taking a three inch pin. Now you can use a pin that has a little eyelet on the end or flat, but in either way, I'm going to be curling the edge of the pin. And I'm gonna make little boots. Well, to make the boots for my Santa, I'm gonna start out with a black bead, and then I'm gonna put either three seed beads or I've got one long black bead here to put on there. And then I'm going to take a little tiny white seed bead that acts as his boot and then the little white cuff on his boot. And now I'm going to take some red beads that I had. There's a smaller bead and did you go a hole in the bead? Just string them on the wire and then a little larger bead, which you can see that's going to be his leg, plus a little fat thigh, like that. And now I'm going to put a curl. I'm just going to twist this over in half. I'm just using the tool to bend the wire. So now I've got half his foot on one side, and I'll start restringing on the other, turn it over and go opposite. Put the bigger red bead first, and then the smaller red bead, and now we've got a little white seed bead. These guys really like to jump around. I just skewer them with the, the pin, and now I've got one of my longer black beads, or you could use two or three black seed beads. If you use the seed beads that are not as long, you're going to get a shorter boot, which is okay. Ankle boot. That would might be good. And then another, where's his little bead? Oh, there's his little foot bead. So now I've got on both sides. And what I'm gonna do is cut a little bit. I've got too much wire here on the pin. So I'm gonna cut a little bit of it off, maybe about a fourth of an inch. I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm gonna duplicate the curl that's on this side. I'm just going to curl it down. Curl it in. It's nice and tight. And when you turn it over, you have his pants. I want to make that gap in the center a little more even. So I'm just going to put my tool there and bend the wire a little bit so you have an even set of pant legs there. I'll show you this way. He's got his legs. Okay. Now I'm going to take this wire that I had cut. and get it matched up in the center or in the top here. And I'm just simply gonna lay the wire into that spot. Show you. So his legs are dangling from this wire. And now I'm going to take a little finding that I had here, a little silver finding. And this is just to sort of act as the ruff that would go around his coat. Imagine that. All right, bring that down. We've got our little ruff and we've got our pants. Now we add his bead body. Very simple, isn't it? Here's his little bead body, just a little red body bead. I liked it because it makes him look like he's got a big old pot belly, the way Santa would have, huh? And I'm pushing, I'll tighten it up later, but I'm trying to keep it together. And here we are so far with his little belly bead and his pants. Next, we're going to work on his arms. Again, I'm taking one of these three inch beads I don't mind that there's a little eyelet on the end of it because I can use that later on. So to make his arms, there's a mitten 
in this case it's a black bead. Then there's one white seed bead and seven red seed beads. I'm going to put a curl in with my tool and repeat the pattern going back. So we start out with the mitten. In this case I'm going to do a green mitten. I like the green. Then I'm going to do a white seed bead. One. I just have them spilled in front of me and I'm just go ahead and spear them up, okay? And we have seven red seed beads. This is up to you as to how many you would like on there, but I thought seven worked well for the spacing on this three inch pin. Got a little teeny half of an arm. It's actually a full arm. And now I'm going to take the curling pliers and I'm going to put a bend in the center. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this wire up and around to give me uh, what I want is, is, is a circle in the center. That's considered like his neck. I'm going to bring that wire around, open this up, because I want to come back around. So think of it like a, the bottom of a safety pin. You're just going to bring it around so these beads aren't going to move any further. And then we're going to string the other side to hold his other arm together. And then I will curl up that end and we'll have his arm. So going backwards, seven red seed beads. Hmm, got to catch them first. It's one, two. So what I'm going to do now is, I want just a little bit of a curl, there's too much here. I'm going to take off just a little snip of this wire. Alright, now I'm going to curl this down to mimic the other side. I'm not too concerned if it's a little bit bigger than the other side. I just want these beads to stay in place. And I'm going to snip that close there. And we've got his arms. Let me see how I can show you. Very skinny arms. So we have his legs. The imitation rough. We've got the pot belly. And I put on his arms. Let your wire go through that hoop. And it's going to sit. Now this is where you can have some fun. Where you can actually bend his arms a little bit. Right now, when I put them together, his arms are going to be going straight out, which is okay. But you could bend them up or down. I want this neck part to try to sit flat, and then you can bend the arms down a little bit. So let's, I'm just going to go with what's there. And now another piece of finding. Where did you go? Here you are. And this is the same piece that I put down for the rough, and this acts kind of as his collar. Think of it that way. It also helps to hide the arms. See, almost immediately little arm joints are gone and he's reaching out, reaching out for presents. I hope, Santa. What comes next? What comes next is the head. Most important piece. These beads are kind of difficult to find, so I got mine on the internet and at one of my local craft stores. So there's Santa so far. Oh my gosh, this was such a fun project. <laughs> this was so cute. Once I came up with a design, it's like, oh, we are good to go. So I want to finish this up by, let's see, what did I do with the other ones? I put a crimping bead. I want to hold all this together tight. I have one here in front of me. They're kind of hard to find. Some of these are beads, and there's one right there. And put both pieces of wire through the crimping bead. The whole purpose here is to get that as tight as I can. Let's use this one and I'm going to pull on the wire because I want this to be tight against Santa's body. It's his little head. Okay, now he's all held together. Now to hide that crimping bead, I've got a few tricks here. I had a little, little teeny tiny bell. I'm going to 
add this. And that comes down. And not only does that add a little bit of whimsy with the sound, but it doesn't at all take away from his cute level. <laughs> He's really getting, getting cute. He's sliding around a little bit, but that's okay. We'll fix him up. I'm going to add a bead up top so that this part acts as a hanger so that he'd be like an ornament. And he will be an ornament. So one more crimping bead. Oh, we've got him down here. Let's find one. And through here. Oh my goodness, that went on nice and fast. Pull up to make straight. I don't want it too long. A couple inches. Go over the door knob or something. And crimp that down. sure it's tight. It is. And I'm going to snip off the excess. <laughs> and there, look at that. You've got a cute, oh my goodness, adorable little Santa ornament. And let me show you what else I made. I also made a pair of earrings now. This means just instead of using the wire, using the three inch pin, making a loop at the top, adding some earring hangers and, oh, I should have worn those today. Earrings. Also, I made this one, only I took a Sharpie and some paint and I made a little teeny belt going around Santa's middle. You see that? So there are different ways you can play with the beads or you can add a wholly different bead. Well, this guy's really fancy, but I kind of like it. I think of it as Santa wearing a Christmas sweater. <laughs> Look at how cute that one is. It's all the same idea. In this case, the wire was really long so that I could keep adding beads to make a pendant. And that's what I'm wearing today as well. And this one I really liked because I left the little hook on his arms, on, on, on his mittens, and I put a little teeny gift there. Can you see that? There you have it. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to ring the bell. There's a tiny little bell there, so you know which episode is coming up next. Make a Santa. They bring joy, and they're very jolly, aren't they? Yes, they are. Happy Christmas in July. See you again.